Well, hi there. I'm going to show you how to do my curvy wave cast on. And it's just a technique that I added to a crochet chain cast on. So here you see the crochet chain cast on on the very bottom. This is a hat I'm in the process of making. And I'll show you it on some other thing hats that I made. But um, I wanted to show you this one first because it's light color so you can see it a lot easier. Okay. So that's what it looks like. So it gives you this kind of a, a look on the brim. And it makes your brim look just a lot uh, fancier and cleaner. I like it. And then um, if you want to see what it looks like on the inside, that's what it looks like on the inside. So if you were doing a reversible piece, you would still have this nice look along the edge. Looks good on both sides. Okay, so I'll show you it on some other pieces. They're a little darker, so it might be a little bit harder to see. But uh, there it is on here. And uh, here's how it looks on this one. Harder to see on the darker, I know. And I have another one. <laughs> These are hats I all just finished and they all have that on them. Here it's a bit lighter. You can probably see it a little more here. So it's very, very easy to do. And so I wanted to uh, do a video so you could see. So let's go over and uh, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I cast on and do my first couple rows to get that effect at the front of the brim. Okay, so you can use any yarn and loom. It doesn't really matter. Um, just make sure that they match for the how, how uh, tight or how loose you want the stitch. So the first thing I do is I'm just going to make a slip knot. and put it on the first peg. Now the yarn I'm using is a bulky yarn and I'm on a 5 8 inch loom. It has 44 pegs, <laughs> which is small, a small, it's a youth size or a very small woman's head. Anyway, so I do the slip knot. Then I'm going to take the loom hook, okay, and put it in the top of it. I'm going to pull up the working yarn. So this is just the crochet chain stitch without a loom hook. Okay. Oh, and um, yeah, this yarn that I that I spun, it's 100% merino wool, just in case you were wondering. Okay, and then I tighten it and I put the loop behind and I tighten it. And I put the loop behind and I tighten it. Loop behind and I tighten it. Loop behind and I tighten it. And you're just going to do that all the way around the loom. Okay, just like this, all the way around. Um, I have a stitch marker here, but it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll just take it off. It's for something else that I did. <laughs> okay. And we just keep going around. So I'm just going to put you on pause while I go uh, most of the other way around and we'll meet you up in a bit. Okay, I'm getting close to the end of the row now. And I'm just going to pop this peg on here. Put this yarn on here and knit it over and we are cast on and we've already done the first stitch there so i'm not going to do any more because it's going to be heavy enough okay so to get started we do a row of owl eye so to do owl eye we go over the first peg knit it off come over peg one and two knit them off 
whatever peg you're on, peg one, go over one and two, nice and loose, and just knit it off. Go over one and two, knit it off. On the always on the first peg that you start on, it's always peg one. Go over one and two, nice and loose, and knit them off. That's all there is to it. And we're just going to go all the way around the loom. Okay, so we will just catch up when we're close to the end of the row. Okay, so I'm getting close to the end of the row here. And then I'm just going to come over here like this. And end my row right there. I'll do one more stitch over and the reason I did that is because this had less stitches on it then we're going to do a row of purl okay so you put the loom hook in here pull up the working yarn and just slip it over the top put the loom hook here scoop up the yarn and just flip it over the top like that okay pull it up and forward over and just tighten slightly and we're just going to go all the way around the loom doing the purl stitch and then the cast on will be complete and you will have that look on the front okay so i will meet you up when we get close to the end of the row okay so i finished the row of purl now we do one more row of owl eye and uh, so again, this is how I do it. And then I'll just meet you up at the end and we will have, uh, we'll have the look. Okay, so I will see you when we get back around. Okay, so I'm done that and it's, it's hard to see, but this is the look that you're gonna have on your brim. This beautiful chain look. So at this point, if you're doing brimless, you just go right into the stitch you're using. Or if you want to have an owl eye brim, you just start doing some rows of owl eye. Okay, so I showed you uh, this part here. And then we'll go on and uh, do the project. 